Hi there, here I am doing some uh, holdover tests with the PARD 008S LRF with a 30 meter zero and I've got the FX Maverick 177 FAC. I've got it on low, minimum power which is currently, with the current reg settings, it's about 13 foot pounds. Still acceptable for within these barns, especially when I don't go for any risky headshots that might involve a pass through to damage the roof. So thanks to the, the team at Sportsman Gun Centre, thanks to John who gave me some tips earlier to dislodge a jammed pellet uh, that I had at the range last night which sort of stopped this uh, testing mid-flow and thanks to George for passing me the file to update the PARD to November 2022 firmware and it's working well so far. Based on my results last night I believe it's still slightly off at really close range but we'll see this in a minute because I've got the 30 meters zero and I've done 30 meters 36 meters 25 and 20 or 19 just now so I'm going to move the target four or five meters closer and do that a couple of times until I'm shooting very virtually point blank and see how good it is at very short range so thanks for watching and I hope you find this interesting essential accessories I've got my JB3D 3D printed butt hook which I've basically got as an inverted L so you can see this goes over here, it goes over my shoulder when I'm shooting and I very rarely use this but it's also got a sort of rear monopod for stability when doing bench rest shooting. Guess what this is? This is the MTM high load table for stability with a survey tripod underneath and with me as an ex-dimensional control surveyor, I know all about tripods, so uh, this is uh, a bit more stable for me. And at the front, over here, we have the variable Carol uh, moderator from Masood Eagle Vision Cam. Thanks again for that, cracking moderator. Not being used to the full extent today because as I say, I've only got this on 13 foot pounds. But when the, the wind calms down, I'll go to my other permission and I'll be doing some 50 meter testing, testing the AAS's ballistic calculator with uh, heavier JSBs, 10.3s, see how the ballistic calculator fares there and also we'll see how the moderator fares. Brilliant, thanks for watching. Okay, hopefully you can hear me over the noise of the chainsaw and the birds cheeping and the wind outside and the traffic but I've had to open the barn door a fair bit just to stop it clanking in the wind or reduce it clanking anyway. Let's check the range. 29. Should be 30 meters but near enough. I've got a blue aim point. If you're watching this on the recording you'll have a white aim point for the ballistic calculator. So the blue aim point is just a ball hair below the center of the reticle. This is reticle 3 which is basically an elongated T with numbered aim points on every second subtension. I have just cleaned the barrel, so I might take a few shots to lead the barrel back in. And I've also just had the barrel out to remove a jammed pellet. Basically it stopped play last night at Gark when I was supposed to be doing the rest of this. Anyway, on with the testing. I've deliberately put black splatter burst, I think they are, brand downrange so that if you are watching this with a white ballistic calculator superimposed aim point so that you can actually see my aim point when I'm not at 30 meters. This is a 30 meter zero of course. That was in the center I think. I am all over the place regarding any steadiness but the, the purpose of this is to do the ballistic calculator test. Look at those pellets are in a row, horizontal row, running left to right, so maybe put it down to my wob. Yeah, they're near enough the centre. So I'm going to move it back out to 36 metres, which is that far corner, I believe, double check. Yeah, near enough, and that'll need mean a slight, slight holdover. Okay. I'll go and do that. 36, 37 meters. So the aim point is 
first mention of uh, holdover. And that wobble you see, that rhythmic wobble, that's my heartbeat from the inside of my right elbow where my arm is leaning on the table so let's see if I can remedy that. Now I found a glitch there because I've cha now changed the ballistic calculator, my on-screen aim point to a green X and here I am again see a blue X. So I'll just have to live with it but I'll feed that back to the team at Sportsman Gun Centre. Right, that suggests there's a little bit too much holdover being given here by the calculator. So that's four or five pellets in roughly the same hole. So I'm going to move the target back to 25 meters and carry on from there, working clockwise around the four targets. So this is the PAR 008S LRF now at 23 meters. Not quite the 25 I was after, but near enough. And it's suggesting oh, a smidgen of holdover, not a lot. It is a 30 meter zero after all. Those pellets are slight, striking ever so slightly lower than I expected. Same hole. range 19 meters and if I look to the right I'm getting the holdover spot on 0 0.5 so half a stadia graduation holdover still giving me the blue cross from the holdover but I can see it against the red dot in the center of the target Oops, slight flyer down to me. And that's my 22 shots, so I'll reload and I'll move the target 5 meters closer. So this is, target is now at 15 meters and holdover, turn to the side, it's saying it's about 1.3 on the graduated scale. Again I'm aiming via the ballistic calculator cross and I hope you can hear my voice over the cheeping of the birds, songbirds over my head in the nests. Well that's three out of four pellets in the same hole at 15 meters. A tiny tiny bit low but no big deal there. I'll move it five meters closer. A bit more anti-clockwise focus 10 meters cock on and it's giving me a holdover point I hope you can see that of just about four so again I'm aiming on the holdover point given for me I can see a, bl a blue cross it stands out nicely on the red 5p size the target in the center Okay, you can see four pellets in a small cluster. Clearly, a holdover of four is too much, so it'd be more like more like three. So it's out by one on the graduated reticle. RF there, target's now seven meters. Out of it, oh, six or seven meters. Holdover point is telling me is on seven. Smack on seven at seven meters. Ah, let's cock on. Yep, all the pellets in the same hole at 7 metres, that's good. Range is now 3 metres, exactly what I wanted. Hold over, oh whoa. It's way down at the bottom, it's almost off the screen. In fact, I wonder if the calculated hold over point is now off the screen and it's simply gone as far as it can. So if I aim at that hold over point, which believe it or not, is here. Yep. It's high. Three pellets in the same hole. Not difficult to do at this range. That is as low as it goes. If the, the target is so close that the scope height means that the ballistic calculator aim point would be off the screen, I think it should go off the screen and disappear. 
and people not to fire at that range. Interesting. Okay, so before I finish this test, I'm now just going to go and pop home, but I'm going to go via filming a wind turbine to see if they have removed the lag because I'm, George thinks they've gone from 30 hertz to 60 hertz for the refresh rate, which changes sensitivity but also reduces the lag. So, wish me luck. Okay, this is me with my mobile phone at the back of the PAR 008S LRF doing my best to hold my phone steady. It's zoomed slightly and I'm going to take you through the uh, menu options. First of all, using the LRF, the second button from the front, same as before, one press stamps ranging and you can see in the top left the uh, visible LRF infrared beam because of the uh, sensitive uh, colour sensor. What range is as short as this, which is about one metre to a white piece of card. But when it's ranged, press it again, and it displays your selected ballistic calculator reticle in the colour of your selection. Uh, there's a bit, a bit of a, um, a glitch with the colour at the moment, but I'll get onto that. And press it again, and it disappears. Menu functions. Want to take you through the reticles. Picture in picture, I've got it on with a shortcut key because this being a UK PAR 008, the red laser pointer is disabled. So reticle adjustment. First option is profile A to E, five profile choices. So X is nine, minus 96, so it's slightly to the left. This will be remedied when I eventually get my replacement Eagle Vision mount to use instead of the PARD mount. Why? 10 so that's pretty central which is great and this is within the supplied pad mount no shimming which is great for all the existing pad users like myself we've had to shim their pad w lrfs in the past we get on to style style 3 has 10 numbered sub tensions in 2 4 6 8 and 10 for holdover and we go back to style 4 and that's a t with some little sub tensions five two concentric circles with a dot superimposed over a partial t and six is a plain cross two is a t with sort of rounded blobs for subtensions one is a cross and zero is for using it as a spotter so put it back to three color one is white two yellow, three green, red. My apologies for the lack of focus, but I'll just take you through this as quick as I can. Long press of the save button, gets you back here. Press the menu again. Ballistic calculator, it basically says parameters and then the display on or off. So if we go into parameters and those are my parameters for roughly 13 foot pounds, 8.4 grains. Note here, third parameter down bullet weight brackets g for grams that's definitely grains i've had this confirmed by sportsman gun center so 8.44 grain jsb exacts are saved here as 8.4 my phone's having trouble focusing but the reason i'm in here is to take you down to this option and you get down press ok till you get down to here and then press the first button or the third shape zero and that's a cross one is a horizontal line two is a box when you find one you're happy with i use the x and then press ok again and go over to color this is color two which is blue and one for green or zero for yellow if we put it on green there's not really an option here to save there's nothing else on the screen pressing ok just toggles back and forth between the two options so back to menu long press save and when I activate the ballistic calculator again, or rangefinder, BC, and it's still on blue. So that's a slight bug that it won't let me change the colour of the ballistic calculator superimposed reticle aim point from blue. 